It's been an agonizing four weeks for a Wisconsin family after the shocking disappearance of Jamie Claus and the brutal murder of her parents. The family still searching for the missing teen sat down with Paul Bloom for the very first interview about the case. Paul's here now and Paul, uh, so do they have any suspicions about what might have happened here since you know, they're much closer to all of this than we are. Yeah, you would think. And in some ways, they have a, a million theories, mm -hmm. right? You know, just their minds racing, almost to the point of paralyzation. But like us, in many other ways, they don't have a clue. One thing we were able to shed additional light on, the final hours before this tragedy unfolded. One of Jamie's aunts reports she was actually on the phone with her sister, Jamie's mother, Denise, as late as 10 o'clock Sunday night, October 14th. And all seemed normal. That's just a mere three hours before their world was shattered. I mean, do you think they were targeted? Is this random? What's your, what are your thoughts? If it was random, it there would be more evidence. Exactly. I think this That's was targeted, planned, thing, but we don't There's know. There's nothing. In addition to the family's anger, hurt, and fear, there is a paralyzing unknown about what happened to Jamie Kloss and who killed her parents. Recent walkthrough of their house where the horrifying mystery unfolded, only complicating their theories. It brought up more questions for us. <laughs> brought up, it did, brought up more questions. It was hard, really hard. The family reports that they've been interviewed multiple times. Yeah. Investigators yes. administering DNA tests to rule them out as potential suspects, something this group insists they are okay with if it helps find those responsible. I asked them why they've been reluctant to speak out sooner. It's, it's just unreal. You're so emotional. You don't even know what you're saying, really. I mean, even now, I mean, still, you have to go through a big thought process, and it's just, well, I think you're so in shock when it, yeah, and when still, it first happened that you just that's don't know. why, I think, yeah. in the beginning, you know, I, we want this out there everywhere, everywhere we want. But no one should read into this so you no. have more information that no. somehow no. this was close to you or, you know, anything no. like that. No, That's no, no, reason absolutely, why we never absolutely spoke not. We, we have, wish we had tons yeah. more information. Yeah, yeah. we don't. No. And Paul, last night you reported that uh, Jamie's father, James Claus, had hunting guns in the house. Uh, what more do we know about that? Yeah, the, uh, up in that pocket of Wisconsin, right, a lot of hunters. Uh, sure. James Claus definitely had guns in the house, according to the sheriff. He did clarify today that all of those guns were found there. Mm. The Clauses were killed with somebody else's gun, and as you know, that gun was gone by the time authorities got to the house. And, Paul, we didn't see this in your interview, but you had told us that the family really upset over sort of all the rumors that are out there. Can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah, yeah, very, very hurt. Uh, you know, there's been the, the giant rumor in town is this uh, secret older boyfriend responsible that Jamie was seeing uh, behind her parents' back. They said that is absolutely not, cr not true. And what really bothers them is that this takes away from the facts. This distracts. You know, uh, the sheriff puts out information. He wants the public focusing on those facts, but you put in social media and you get people going astray, they really feel that's hurting this case. Especially when you're struggling to get the real answers. Yeah. People are going to exactly. start floating all sorts of strange things. Yeah. Strange and hurtful because yeah. they've been, you know, targeted as you possible suspects themselves. Yeah. yeah. Paul, all right, thank Paul. you. Thanks. Again, a nationwide Amber Alert still in effect for Jamie Kloss. The teen has reddish blonde hair and hazel eyes. Police believe she may be with someone in a red Dodge Challenger or a black SUV. If you have any information, please call 911.